Today we're gonna check out episodes 404 and 405 of One Piece. Look at but before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, maybe subscribe to the channel because most of you are not subscribed. And when we hit 50,000 subscribers, I'm gonna shave my head bald. In fact, we might have already hit 50,000 subscribers by the time this comes out, and you might already see that I'm bald in other videos, which would be weird because then you get to see me bald and also have hair from video to video, which is kind of weird. But anyways, 50,000 bald head. You can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. It's crazy how much better the animation is now. In one piece. Oh, fuck. You barely. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what the fuck was that? <laughs> He's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. I give up. Yo, why he got Edward's scissor hands right now? Used to scissor hands over here. Send him! Send it! Send it, Eustace! Show him you're not useless. Prove this. Show him an example of the truest nuisance that you are. Your name's Kid. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Came from the auction house, no bid. Uh, but after the kid, um, uh, damn. Other, other, other bars and stuff. I don't know, who cares? Let's go. He ain't what you think he is, though. Come a bit different. Law's about to be like, wait, hold on. Oh, wait. No, he's not down. That's what I fucking thought. I knew he wasn't down. I knew he wasn't down. Oh, he didn't know. He didn't know. Room. That room go boom. Oh, never mind. Shouldn't have skipped the leg day. You would have been able to stand up against our boys. Kung Fu Polar. <laughs> Damn, bro. He went bowling. It's another Kuma. Do not. Oh my fucking god. It's another Kuma. Wait, what was it? His Kuma? No, no, his Kuma's right there. And then back is Kozan. Nah. Nah. Somebody about to step in right now. Somebody about to. Wait. The one that we don't want to to start step in right now is is Kizuna. But somebody else could step in. Stop the step from stepping. All right, make him take a step back, maybe. Step off. Oh, because he's made out of light. Wait, how do you, how do you? Bro, oh, oh, this motherfucker versus Blackbeard would be wild, dude, right? Cause he, I don't. <laughs> that man's just standing there like, Yeah, he's like, okay. The glint glint fruit. I told you! Admittedly, it wasn't the light light fruit or anything like that. Okay, it's the glint glint fruit, whatever. But you, you get what I'm saying. He's made of light, like our boy is now in control of the darkness. Well, not our boy, but the that boy, Blackbeard. He's not our boy, all right? He fought Ace. He's not my boy. I'll tell you that much. He might be your boy. He ain't my boy. You might you might have got up to a thousand episodes, and maybe Blackbeard's a good by, guy guy by now, but he ain't my boy right now. Maybe when I get a thousand episodes in, I'll think he's my boy. You know, Brooke always talks about how light he is. This is a serious moment. You guys are gonna be so mad at me for not being serious during a serious moment. It's just, I know Zoro's good. Yeah, listen, he's tapped out, bro. He's already hit his peak. Not peak. That's not the word I want to say. He has already pushed his body as far as it could while it's injured. 
He's not pushing it further. There's no more pushing at this point. Somebody else has to step in. And again, hopefully, hopefully not Kizuna. And also, again, I'm pretty sure that's not his name. I'm sorry. I don't remember. It's something like that. But then when I say Kizuna, I think Kizuna I something. That's something. There's some there's some sort of Kizuna I. I don't know what that's from, but there, there's I don't know why that's the name that's coming to my mind. 20, 20 of them? Okay. Come here. <laughs> Come here. This is rolling his ass. Yeah, get rolling. While he's standing on him? Bro, fit Silvers! Silvers! No, 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 Silvers, 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 Silvers. Nah, I'm chilling. I'm not worried. I ain't worried, bro. Y'all tripping over nothing. Boom. What did I fucking say? What did I say? Oh my. Yo! Yo! I told you. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I saw it. I foresaw it. I pre watched it. I pre watched it in a former life. Back when I was negative years old. But I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I saw it coming. Thank you, sir. Bro, and can we just. Can we just. Can I just. Can we just go back to how we fucking flew over here? Look at this man fly over. Look at this. Look at him. Yo, that's so dope, dude. What the fuck? That's so cool, dude. Oh my god. That's so cool. He comes in just... Mm. And I was just talking about how fire the animation is right now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Some, somebody. Dude, what? The Sabaudi Archipelago is from fucking 2008? What? There's gonna be an arc called Island of Whammon? Hmm, I see. Hmm. Anyways, 2008. That's wild, bro. There's there's literally anime that I watched from 2007, 2008 that do not touch this level of animation. And this is a weekly series. I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted. Dark King, Rayleigh. Dude, my legs are itchy right now. This era is just about to begin. Ooh! <laughs> That's crazy. This era is just about to begin. And we're like 400 episodes in. No, no, no. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if he's happy that the that uh, Rayleigh showed up or if he's worried about it. Oh, so he's not even prepared to capture him right now. That's the level that he's at. Even a fucking admiral could not capture Rayleigh at the level that Rayleigh's at. And Rayleigh gotta be old, too. My man gotta be in his 70s, for sure. Because you just assume he had to be... If they set sail 50 years ago. He had to be close to 20-ish. He's in his 60s, 70s, maybe. Oh, wait, no, 50 years ago was Brooke. I don't know. Somebody tell me his age. What? Well, how old is he? <laughs> and he got to let that shit happen. This, my man got to let this shit happen. Because what is he? What, if he tries to do something right now, Rayleigh going to stop it. And not my man. Sorry. Kizuna, not my man. Also, is that his name? Hold on. I, I feel so stupid. I got to know if that's his name. Kizuru. It shows up as a search history. It's literally because I guess I looked up Kizuna. It's like Admiral One Piece. Admiral One Piece. Kizaru. <sighs> I feel like an idiot. Okay, Kizaru. Uh, listen, I know this whole time I've been calling him Kizuna. I'm sorry. Kizaru, Kizaru, Kizaru. I'm not good with names. I literally just watched <laughs> the other three episodes this morning and I already forgot his fucking name. All right, I'm sorry. That's true. Damn. Everybody dip! Bye-bye! <laughs>
No, no, we're not doing that. Stop that. Oh! Oh! Oh, he cut through the light? Wait, did, how did he get cut? Did he cut him? I don't even remember. It might have been the other group before. Dude, why is he targeting his butthole? What the fuck? A little weird. Normally, there's a target on your back, not your crack. Bro, shouldn't it be Luffy, though? And also, this did not play out the way I thought it would. I thought they were going to break into their groups. I thought they were going to lay low and maybe get into some shit, some shenanigans. But in the end, make it out. And this is not going the way that I expected it to. Not at the moment. Yo, Usopp's kind of strong. Got a man riding his back like that. Couldn't be me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Creepy. His big ass. What is this? Why does it look like they're being slowed down by wind? Brook. Okay. Three musketeers over here. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't really... <laughs> yeah, did, that didn't really work out the way you expected. Hey, at least, at least when Brook dies, let's be realistic, not dies, but you know, when if he gets defeated, whatever, he's just a, he's just a fucking skeleton. Like until his uh, bounty gets updated and he has like, it, until like the world government and everybody knows he is a bag of bones, a skelebob. Until then, you know, it's just like, okay, well, yeah, it's just a, that's just a fucking skeleton over there. Like if you're not aware that Brook's a skeleton, it's you know, here we go. Dude, I love that fucking lava foot. It is so cool. I want to see, ooh, his, his leg is fucked up. That's not a good sign. Yep. I thought so. It's the, it's the lady from Rayleigh, right? It's the lady from Rayleigh. Tell me I'm wrong. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. It's the lady from Rayleigh. It's that, oh, the pink hair. It's pink hair, bro. It's pink hair. Tell me I'm wrong, right? Cause pink hair, you know, she kind of, she kind of seemed like she was, you know, some, some. She is. She seemed like she cared a little bit about Zoro. She said she wanted to see him again. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I know I'm right, right? Well, you know what just happened? Wait, did he actually hit them? What happened to his attack? Did he land his attacks? Y'all good after that? Bro, he just like fired off a fucking light beam. Damn, big man is this fast? Oof. God, this man's strong. Yo. We could really use some fucking help. We could really really use some help i don't know who it's coming from but it, it's got to come from somebody dude we need it we need some help right now pop chopper you better fucking start chomping them balls brother i need you to put them balls in your mouth start chomping them up rumble up a couple of times oh 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 he triple rumbled he triple rumbled oh triple rumble chopper triple rumble chopper oh! Yes, bro. He put all the balls in his mouth. He's fully, fully rumbled up. A rumble in the jungle. <laughs> You're not ready for this. I'll tell you that much. You're not ready for this. Show him what's up. Show him. Okay, that was a, uh, you know, you got to move a little faster, though. Don't let him escape from you, but like, get his ass, though. Bro, imagine he does get control over it. I know there's a time skip at some point after um, after all this shit between now and the new world, right? There's a time skip. What if he actually is able to control his shit? Oh, shit. Bro, just Concho, right? Right up the ass. 
Ah. Bro, they are KO. I'm pretty sure Brooke broke his neck. Uh oh, he's back. Wait, 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 he's not wanted. That's not Soge King, right? Wait, wait, Kuma, real Kuma's here? Why? Why? He brought the good word with him too. Yo, and Zoro's still standing up to you. Well, ne kneeling up to you or whatever. You want to you want to give a little mercy again? I would like to go with all of my friends on a vacation away from this. Hold on, I'm starting to water up a little bit. Um, is Kuma gonna? Paw everyone? Okay, Kuma's gonna do this to everyone. All right, to be continued, Kuma's about to do it to everybody. Kuma's about to do it to everybody. We're good. Don't worry. Kuma is teleporting everyone away so that way they don't die. Cause that's the homie, low key. We kinda, we kinda fuck with him a little bit. A little bit. Not all the way, but a tiny amount. We do fuck with him, right? Cause he showed us mercy. <laughs> Charges, boom, right? Same shit, right? They're all gonna charge him and get boom, boom, sent away, right? He's good. He's, I, I mean, I understand the frustration here. Ooh, I understand the frustration here, but, but he's good. Zoro's good, dude. Zoro's good. I just don't see why Kuma... I don't see, I don't see Kuma doing, like, trying to kill him here. He is. Oh, why you call him a bastard, though? What the fuck? This is exactly why pirates can't be trusted. No, 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 he was teleported somewhere. He's fine. I, I refuse to believe that he's hurt. Oh, she's probably out there somewhere too, right? Perona? Wild theory, what if they're somehow in his book? You know? So wild theory, yes. What's probably a lot more likely is he sent them away. Bro, Zoro earned Kuma's respect. He earned his fucking respect. You about to go. You about to get sent away too. Oh my god. Always with this. I have all these men under my command. Boom. Watch. Oh! Oh! Yo! <laughs> what? Wait, 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 he attacked? He attacked PX1? What is the goal, bro? What it goes through this motherfucker's mind? What is going on in your mind right now? What are you, what is, like, I don't... What's your thought process like? <clears throat> nah, he about to do do do. So where the fuck is Zoro, bro? Boom. Brooks getting set now. Go join Zoro. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, they had to get that one in there. Just had to. Gotta get that last joke in there. At this point, everybody should be getting sent, right? 
it's reasonable for them to believe that Zoro just died and Brook just died. Kuma tried to kill them before. He is the bad guy. So it's reasonable for them to believe this. I just personally... Oh. Wait, he didn't just... Oh. Why didn't you send him? Is he splitting them up? Usopp is the third one to be sent with them. That's Their group was split up like that too, right? Usopp, Zoro, and Brook were in one group together. So they just all got sent to one place. Now he's got to send the next group. Sanji, Nami, Frankie. Or maybe he's sending them all together? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not... I, again, like, it's hard for me to, like, actually worry about this. Like, I'm not worried about this at all. There's a thousand episodes. None of these people are dead. All right? So, I don't... Personally, me... I, I know that this probably ruins the reaction for some of you. I'm sorry. If it does, that's too bad. You deal with it. This is the way that I feel. This is my reaction to it all. I can't be worried about them. I can't be. Because I know for a fact that they're good. But yeah, if it ruins the reaction for you, me being logical and realizing there's no fucking way that they're all dead right now, I'm sorry. But also, you came here for my reaction. And this is my reaction. They're all gone, not dead though. Again, I still understand them believing that they're dead. Like, what do you do in this situation? Where you just fought this motherfucker and he was killing off your people or like fucking them up. It's safe to assume. He's also a, a warlord who works with the, the Navy and the world government. Rayleigh better not fucking die here though. He better not die here. If Rayleigh dies here to this motherfucker. Wait, oh my god, could he? Could he die here to this guy? See, bro, they doing the whisper thing. They're doing the anime whisper thing where they don't tell us what's going on, but we know, or maybe we don't, but he's telling them, I sent your homie somewhere safe. Don't worry about it, bro. They're good. They're good. I fuck with Zoro. He took on all that shit that Luffy had to deal with. Like, I got mad respect for him, bro. I got them alive. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You're good. That's what he's whispering right now. And Rayleigh's like, oh shit. The homies? They're good? What'd I say? I feared for my own situation as well. Interesting. I'm so stupid, bro. I'm I'm actually probably dumb as fuck because I'm just now remembering. He's a warlord. He is a pirate. And like when when this dude when fucking um Kizaru said, "This is why we don't trust pirates." I was like, "Yeah, I don't really get it though cuz like he's with the Marines." No, he's a fucking pirate. He's a warlord. Oh my god, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Luffy about to get boom two. Kuma stopping them first. Boom boom. You thought, bro. Ooh, damn, Robin got left behind. Robin! That shit's gonna hurt though. Or not, never mind. Oh, I forgot. He could just do doo. True, true, true. Oh, with a second, though. Oh. 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 Fuck. I really thought it was... I thought it was going to, like, do something to... I thought at least Kumo would be like, oh, shit. Nope. No. <laughs> Dami's next. Oh my god, imagine being Luffy here. Yo, imagine being Luffy here. 
Three bubbles left. That's Luffy, Robin, and Chopper. Imagine being Luffy, watching all of your friends, all of your crewmates, the people you care about all get... What do you even call it? Just... They're getting blipped. That's wild. You're next, Luffy. Send him. Or not. Never mind. Is he going over to Robin? Yep. Robin's next. Or Chopper? Well, you gotta douse that man with some water first. Otherwise, he's just gonna be on a rampage when he gets over to where Zoro and everyone is. He's so mad. Oh, Choppy. Boom. Damn. I can only imagine what this must have been like in 2008 watching this episode. Seeing all this shit happen without knowing what's to come. Like without knowing the future of the series. Imag I, like I can imagine what people felt. Like for me personally, I can't feel it because I know this motherfucker's still around. You know? Like I, I know that there's like there everybody's still around, dude. Ain't nobody dead. They're still on adventures and shit, okay? I know that much. I'm sorry if I know that, but I know it. Do I know the adventures that they're on? No, but I know that everybody's around. And because I know that, it doesn't hit that way. But I can imagine what it must have been like for people who watched this and didn't know if Zoro was still alive and the rest of the crew was still alive. Admittedly, there is that moment he just had with, with Rayleigh and he was like whispering. And then Rayleigh said, do you expect me to trust you? He's asking Rayleigh to put his trust in him. Why would he trust him? What is there to trust? Trust that maybe he didn't kill everybody? You know? For Luffy in this moment, it must be fucking heart wrench, gut wrenching, heartbreaking, gut wrenching to see. Oh my God. And he's just walking down Robin and he's about to get her gone too. right in front of him too oh. oh that's heartbreaking and then there was one Ooh, are we gonna get a tease of gear four right now Oh, not the Binks Blues. Okay. This is always the Nami one, man. Yeah, fuck you guys. That's the explanation, bitch. Why will they never meet again? Is Kuma gonna have- to wait, is Kuma then in trouble for all this shit that he just did? Is this the last time we see Kuma? Damn. Bro, I- Knowing what, like, knowing the fact that they're not dead, right? Like, I know they're not dead. It kind of, like, ruined the emotional moment. And then y'all went to the fucking flashback. The combination of Binks Booze or Binks Sake or whatever. I think Binks Booze sounds better than Binks Sake. I'm just gonna say, I love alliteration. I think alliteration sounds amazing. What What is sake? Well, it's alcohol. What's another word for alcohol? Booze. So I, 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 I know some people don't like that, that it's called Binks Booze instead of Binks Sake. Anyways, combination of that, knowing what that meant to Brooke, seeing the stuff about Brooke, seeing the stuff with Frankie. Frankie's their enemy. 
then joins the group. You get to Robin, that shit started to get me teary-eyed. Cause Robin's thing, her arc was very sad. Admittedly, at the moment when I watched it, her whole, I wanna live, didn't really hit me. Why? Because I've never really thought like, I don't wanna live. I know with some people it resonates more. Maybe they've had thoughts like that. I never have, so it didn't really resonate with me. But it does remind me of all the sad shit in her backstory. The reason why she wouldn't wanna live. The friends that she made that caused her to want to live. Like, that's sad. But what gets me, especially after watching the live action, because for some reason with the live action, it resonated more with me than the anime did. Nami's thing. When she asks him for help, shot through the fucking heart, man. That shit is rough because just what it meant, the whole, the hat transfer, the, the amount that he treasures that hat and he gives it to her, who's, who literally has no, she is, she is exhausted all of her options. She has no options. All she can do is is beg for help from someone. That's that's her last thing. It's just, is there anyone that can help me? And the fact that he gives her that hat, which means more to him than anything in the world. That's his treasure, you know? And then like, ah, dude, that's just so good. And then sure, we got the Usopp, the Sanji and, and Zoro and everything, but like, Tsunami one that got me, bro. That's what got me. So Kuma saves our straw hats. What are the repercussions for him? That's what I'm wondering. Don't tell me. I'll either have found out or I will find out what the repercussions for him are. I don't want to know from you, but damn, that was fucking great. That was wild. I loved it. With that said, I would love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.